Hello friends, welcome back to A Good Life Farm. So as you can see, I am back in Alabama. If you saw my last video, um, I went on a quick trip to Arkansas to visit with a friend of mine. And um, the morning I was getting ready to leave, which was Thursday morning, um, got up bright and early, was about to head on out. Um, she was also coming to Alabama because she had a wedding to attend and we couldn't leave. <laughs> um, we were completely trapped in her driveway. Um, I filmed a quick little video on my phone and just explained the situation um, and went ahead and uploaded that, although it didn't actually finish uploading until Friday. So I just let it publish on Friday, even though I had intended it to be for Thursday. But amazingly, all of that water dissipated really, really quickly. And I was actually able to come home that day and she was able to make the wedding. Um, we just weren't able to leave when we had planned on it. Um, when we left, there was still some water in the driveway. Um, so that was a little, nervous driving Mr. Smith's car through that. It looked like a lot, but it wasn't actually deep by the time we, we went to leave. So I was able to get home late on Thursday, uh, and then I just kind of recuperated on Friday. So right now I've actually got dinner going. I'm making a recipe. You guys have seen me make this recipe before. Um, it's called kielbasa stew. I make, I take some, beef kielbasa and I dice it up with some onion. I saute that together and then veggies, seasoning, beef broth, potatoes, um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a creamy kind of stew. Very easy to make and it's, you know, one that I make fairly often here. So I'm thinking about doing a video series. I, I'm curious about um, whether there would be interest in it or not, but many, many years ago when my kids were little and I was homeschooling, I did a homeschool home ec class and it was for my daughter and some other little girls joined in and so we did kind of like a basic home ec class, cooking, sewing, all of that, and I was kind of throwing around the idea of doing a home ec series. Um, just absolute basic instructional lessons, um, of course, to video. Um, I think maybe for some of the lessons, I could maybe even create like a printable to go with it. Um, I don't know, I've just kind of been thinking about that for a while. And I think it might be a good resource for people who are brand new to cooking and maybe moms out there who would like their little girls to learn. Um, I, of course, this being YouTube, um, I have to label all of my videos as not made for children um, and I would do the same for those, but they could definitely be made for moms who want their kids to watch. Um, you know, I, I try to do the vast majority of all the content here, kid-friendly, family-friendly. Um, we are on a homestead. There are some things that, you know, happen here sometimes that might be upsetting to children. Um, but I, I think usually parents can tell by the title whether it's something they want their kids to watch or not. Um, but yeah, I, I try to keep it upbeat and uh, definitely rated G around here <laughs> for the most part.
guys. So while my um, kielbasa stew was cooking, I went ahead and ground up some of the last of my dried peppers that I had in the pantry, some of my paprika uh, varieties. And so now those are ready to use in recipes. Um, I actually need to mix up some of my uh, spice blends, uh, seasoning blends, because a lot of my varieties are empty, so I'll probably use those for some of them. Um, maybe I'll actually do a video on some of my blends and share those with all of you. But going back to the home mech idea, um, if there are any particular lessons that you think I should include, um, or particular topics that you think should be included in home mech, um, please leave those in the comments down below and I can maybe start working on ideas for um, lesson plans, I guess. <laughs> so I would love your feedback on all of that. Um, if you would like to get the recipe that you saw me making here today, um, the kielbasa stew, I have that of course on my website. I'll put a link to that down below where you can get the full recipe. Um, so all of my dishes are washed, the kitchen is tidy, and I'm just going to grab a bowl and uh, enjoy some stew for dinner. So thanks for hanging out with me here in the homestead. My name is Constance at Good Life Farm, and I'll talk to y'all next time.